Dr. Joe Stefano here for Urgent Care 24-7. We're going to chat today about iron disorders. Iron disorders are very um, interesting to me. Um, in iron disorders, you have two sides of the equation. You have iron deficiency, you have iron overload. Um, iron deficiency. Uh, women are at increased risk for iron deficiency due to pregnancy and having periods. Um, premenopausal women with iron deficiency, um, a lot of times it's inadequate oral iron intake. Um, symptoms of iron deficiency include pica, where you crave um, non-food items. This can be cornstarch, this can be ice, this can be dirt, this can be clay. Um, a lot of times um, young women who are very badly iron deficient will crave these things and eat them. Um, and the craving and the behavior disappears uh, when the iron is replaced. Um, men should not be iron deficient. Um, generally when a male is iron deficient, uh, that is another underlying disorder such as peptic ulcer, colon polyps, colon cancers, AVMs. An iron deficiency in a male always requires um, a GI workup to exclude ulcers or um, Crohn's disease or inflammatory bowel disease or some type of cancer. Same with um, um, women um, beyond their child period um, years who have iron deficiency. If um, a young woman um, has iron deficiency and it does not readily correct with iron replacement, um, you have to then sometimes treat them as a postmenopausal woman with iron deficiency and rule them out for other causes such as malabsorption of iron from bowel disease, make sure that they're not losing iron through their stool because of colon cancer or peptic ulcers. So those are the broad, that's the broad spectrum of iron deficiency. Um, there are people that are iron deficient um, that have a defect in their GI tract. You do a big workup on them. They don't have ulcers. They don't have Crohn's disease. They don't have a cancer. They swear compliance with their iron. Um, they tell you that their stools are black from taking on iron and they are still iron deficient. These people actually have a problem with their iron transport genes and don't absorb oral iron well. They will need IV iron infusion. A rare condition, but it happens. I've seen several cases in my career.